Hello, I'm Miss Sargent and I'm Head of English at Rycroft Middle School. We have designed our English curriculum with the intent that all children will be fluent, insightful readers and skilled creative writers. Our children will engage with a range of genres and develop their understanding of fiction and non-fiction styles. We understand that a good grasp of English is the bedrock of the entire curriculum and children who are confident readers and writers will be empowered to succeed in all other areas. The journey begins in year four when I come and visit your first schools and teach you an English lesson, which we then continue when you get here at the start of year five. We will study a range of fiction, non-fiction and poetry, including The Highwayman, Who Let the Gods Out, Journey to the River Sea and Viking Boy to encourage that love of literature. The books are also used to support our creative curriculum, whereby we also look at the ancient Greeks and rivers in geography. I would now like to introduce one of our year five pupils who is going to read a little bit from the work that we've been doing on our first class text, Boy by Roald Dahl. In year five, we had started by reading Boy, Roald Dahl's best-selling autobiography, which is full of hilarious tales about his childhood and school days. As a boy, all sorts of unusual things happened to Roald Dahl. There was a time when he and his four school friends got their revenge on the beastly Mrs Pratchett in her sweet shop. We use this as an inspiration for writing our own formal letter from, from the sweet shop owner as she sought revenge on the mischievous Dahl and his friends. Here is mine. Dear Mr Coombs, my name is Miss... Mrs. Petunia Pratchett, and I am writing to you about a shocking event that took place yesterday. I feel you need to be aware of this so you can punish these despicable children. Yesterday, I had numerous pupil, pupils from your school enter my excellent shop. That was when it happened. I was asked by a beautiful young girl for a gobstopper, which is my most popular sweet by far. As I dunked my fingers into the jar, a disgustingly putrid, putrid stench filled the room like a rotten egg dropping to the floor. Gingerly reaching inside, rather than a smooth, shiny sphere, there was a mat matted fur brushed against my gorgeous, clean hands. Staring inside, I had the shock of my life, a gory, gruesome rat with maggots crawling all through it. The claws were contaminated and its eyes were bloodshot. It was an eyesore. All of a sudden, life went slow. I dropped the priceless gobstopper jar and I hurtled to the ground. The glistening jar leapt onto the floor, smashing to smithereens. I screamed so loudly that one of my, mind one of my windows shattered. The little girl sprinted out of my shop, crying for help. I must have collapsed because when I woke up, I was in hospital. In my opinion, it was that doll and his friends. They know that the gobstoppers are my most popular sweets in the shop. I recommend these punishments for you. Caning until their hands go scarlet. Eating the rat, eating the rat they decided to pull the trick on me. The chokey, hoping they get spiked. For all the reasons I have mentioned, it is imperative that these rotten, selfish little runts get dealed with. I would be... Most delighted if you were to write back to me or to come to my magnificent sweet shop to discuss the matter further. I look forward to seeing you. Roald Dahl vividly shares his memories and we are going to be writing our own autobiography so the teachers get to learn more about us and we can get to know one another. I can't wait! <laughs> 